Brother, I have something that will cheer you up. Forget it, Cooler. I'm not attacking the lions. It's not their fault our parents are gone. The lions? Oh, I just wanted to cheer you up with this amazing plan. Of course, if you did destroy the lions, I'm sure our parents would be proud. You're right. I know what we have to do now. Destroy the lions! Have you heard from Krager? Not since that night. Be patient with him, son. He lost both his parents, and he's now king, with a whole tribe to run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try reaching out to him again, if he shows. That would be noble. As lions, we must maintain the peace and balance of Chima. It is our sacred duty given to us by nature itself. Uh-oh. I feel the great story coming on again. The great story can never be told enough, son. You should know that. Yes, Dad. We weren't always the advanced and sophisticated creatures we are now. Once, many, many centuries ago, there were no buildings or vehicles or tribes in Chima, just jungles and plains and creatures that walked on all fours. One day, the sky opened up and blessed the land. Pulling Mount Kavora from the heart of Chima, the water that flowed from this mountain was different, powerful, transformative, full of a life force we now call Chi. Those who drank from it became smarter, more complex, evolved, However, some in Chima chose not to embrace the Chi. They stayed simple and pure, vanishing into the outlands, never to be seen again. These creatures are now known as the Legend Beasts. It is said they will return one day when Chima needs them most, but few here believe they even exist anymore. Mount Kavora still supplies us with chi today, but it is collected here in the Lion Temple, where it forms into powerful orbs, thanks to the special minerals in the sacred pool. Yeah, Dad, I've heard that great story like a hundred times, and I've got to say, it's more like a pretty good story rather than a great one. Hush, Lavelle. Respect. Hey, I'm just saying, it could use a better ending and a little more action. What do you think? I think you need to grow up. Ha! Hi! Ha! And here they come. Awesome! But uh, I can't see Krager. Can you, Dad? He will be here for his chi, son. Remember, as the first to drink that chi, we lions are its sacred guardians, ensuring that it is shared fairly by all. Once a month, we distribute all the orbs to every tribe in Chima. Sweet! Got me some chi! Tonight's gonna be a good night! Even those tribes we might not agree with. Hey, is Krager coming today? You mean King Krager. Yeah, you'll see the king soon enough, you will. <laughs> What was all that about? Who knows? I've never understood the Crocs. And I suppose they don't get us either. Excuse me, Lagravis, but it's time to bring out the Golden Orb. Ah, yes. There's always one extra powerful Golden Chi every month. But we don't give this orb away. We race for it! Yes! Welcome, citizens of Chima, to our monthly Race for the Golden Chi. For centuries, the
the Golden Chi has chosen a different contest each month so that no one tribe shall have an advantage in winning it. What will it choose this time? A torture course of obstacles? Or the ruthless race of ramps? It is settled on the joust of jungle judgment. Riders of Chima, safeties and blunters on. Anyone caught using unsecured weapons will be immediately disqualified. First up, Laval versus Gorzad. <laughs> Bummer! Good joust. Tilt your speeder in a little more next time, and you might just get me. Groovy. Rogon versus Vladvik. Uh, yeah. Oh. Take that. Rogon versus Laval. <laughs> Versus Warrens. <laughs> Too bad Krager's not here. This is his best event. He'd wipe out everyone, and then it'd just be me and him, like always. Except today, when it's you and that sneaky wolf, Juarez. Final joust to determine the winner of the Golden Chi. Laval the Lion versus Juarez the Wolf. I never liked you, Laval. Really? Well, you're really gonna hate me now when I send you flying off this track. Bring it on. <laughs> It's forward. It's <laughs> like a wolf in sheep's clothing. If the sheep was naked, <laughs> get away from me, cheater. What? I didn't cheat. You're the one with the crazy spear. There's no way I could get past that. I know. And next time, Lion, you won't be so lucky. I swear it. It appears we have a winner. <laughs> but it only appears that way. Oh, Krager? Oh. Have you forgotten your precious rules, Lions? Only the rider who leaves no opponent standing can claim the Golden Chi. It's too late for that, Krager. You need to be here at the start for that rule to apply. Oh, so you're saying the great Lions would rather hide behind a technicality than face a foe? Let me joust him, Dad. I beat him. At least half the time I face him. Rules are rules, Laval. But, Dad... What's it gonna be, Laval? A little joust for old time's sake? Just me, you, and destiny. Not here, Laval. You must respect our rules. Without them, we are nothing. Well, then, if you won't joust me, I'll just find someone who will. This is crazy. You may know the phase, 
old friend, but the falling jungle is one of my new favorite stomping grounds. Emphasis on stop! I'll beat you anywhere, anytime, Krager. And now's the time. Watch out for that tree. I'd much rather bury you in a cave like you did to my parents. Krager, that's not what happened. Tell it to the spear, lion. <laughs> okay, what beats a croc to the ground? A flying lion. Uh -huh. uh. By the way, you missed. <clears throat> We've got to stop meeting like this, Krager. Fine with me, croc hater. Hey, come on. I'm sorry you lost your parents. That was all an accident, which you caused. You could have saved them if you'd just given me that G. I broke the rules once for you, Krager. Never again. Surrender now, Krager. I don't want to hurt you. Too bad the feeling's not mutual. Accident. Krager, don't do this! So, old friend, this is for my parents, and for the Chi, and for all of Chima! Hey, who snaked my spear? A little birdie did, with some big metal eggs! Dude, you got some uh, tree on your shirt. Let me help you there. Laval, are you okay? Yeah, sure. I'm fine. We'll get you, Krager! You can't hide forever! Oh, don't worry. Hiding is the last thing I plan to do. Wari, so good to see you. The fur is healing well, I see. Uh, enough with the small talk, Krager. Just tell me how I can destroy Laval and the lions. No one mocks a wolf like they did. Okay, then. Down to business. We attack the lions during their next age of becoming ceremony. The ravens will be joining us as well. They hate the lions, too? No. We're just paying them. A few trinkets and treasures, and those birds will do anything. <laughs> ah! Hey, listen to this deal. I suckered the crocs out of their trinkets and treasure. <laughs> All we have to do is help them attack the lion temple. <laughs> oh. Trinkets and treasure. <laughs> Lavelle, what are you doing? Your age of becoming ceremony is starting. This is a big day for you. Yeah, I know. My first chi, becoming a true lion warrior. Totally ready. And your harness? Did you lose it? My harness? No, no, of course not. I I know exactly where it is. Ugh, where did I put my harness? Today is not the day to do this. Today is the day we do this! Today is the day we become the true masters of Chi. Today is the day we destroy the... What are you doing, Omar? Why, I'm working on your fabulous smile. <laughs> Did you forget our teeth cleaning appointment, Cragywag? Um, sorry. Um. How are you going to keep those pearly whites polished without little old Plover here picking them pretty, huh? It's not a good time, Plover. <laughs> oh, like there's anything more important than the glorious grin you greet the world with every day. Brother, you need some schooling in the fine art of dental hygiene. Um, is there any chance we can reschedule? Fine. It's your teeth. I'll see you then. Continue with your whatever it is you're doing. Okay, now let's destroy the lions! He is such a sweet boy. He's just misunderstood. Defend the temple. Protect the chief. <laughs> Get away from my chief! Is that you? 
great. The lions need our help. What are you waiting for? Finish it already. Gregor, it doesn't have to be like this. We used to be friends. Until you buried my parents. Oh, that was an accident. How many times do we have to go over this? And you did nothing to save them. You could have gotten me that chi. No, I couldn't. It's not mine to give. It belongs to all of Chima. Ugh. Here we go again. I've heard the great story, too, about Mount Kavora and the legend beasts and your need to protect Chima from its own chi. We share the chi to keep Chima balanced, peace and harmony. Look around you, Laval. Was that peace and harmony you saw outside your lion temple? No, it was you attacking us. That's right. And we'll attack you again. So forget about peace and harmony now unless you surrender. What? Are you serious? You don't have a choice. I'd say you're the one with no choice. Fine then. Do it. Show me no mercy. I would show none to you. <laughs> what? What? What are you doing? Scoring one for peace and harmony, you mouthy mud lover. What? But you can't just leave me here. I'm your enemy! No, you're not. You're an old pal who forgot who his true friends are. In time, you'll come around. <laughs> oh, finally! My first chief! No. <gasps> what? Not again! Oh, oh, oh! When will you learn? I am not your friend! <laughs> Are you serious? What part of I'm not your friend and I'd show you no mercy did you not understand? You always were a lousy swimmer. I'm not sure we can hold out much longer, sir. We must. Without us, she must shall perish. have slowed us a bit, but it won't be long before the lion defenses crumble completely. And you? Did you deal with Laval? Oh no, Laval! Cruer, I think I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't be seeing Laval ever again. <gasps> <gasps> Rizzoli. I must be seeing things. Is that a legend beast? Whoa! <clears throat> it's impossible! Legend beasts don't even exist! Or do they? What's gotten into everyone? Cruella? You too? I've never seen the legend beast. I've only heard the great story. Ugh. Ah. And it's just a story, and they're just another creature. Four legs instead of two. They're no match for us and Archie. Uh... I'll show you what a real legend looks like, beast. Ah! Uh. <laughs> I believe this belongs to me. Stay down! 
down, Cragger. It's over. Oh, fine. I surrender. But this is so not fair. You have the Chi and the Legend Beast. What do I have? You have about 10 seconds to get your troops out of here. Nine, eight, seven, <laughs> six. <laughs> you know, this isn't over. And you know you only have five seconds left. Four, three, huh? two, <laughs> one. And he's gone. You could have completely destroyed him, you know. Yeah, I know, Dad. The Chi gave me that power. But it also gave me the strength to set him free instead. Today, son, you really have become a true lion warrior. For Chima! For Chima. Where's the Legend Beast going? Don't know, but I'm sure he'll be back when we need him most. Just like the great story says. The great story? But I thought you always said that was so boring. Nah, it just needed a better ending. And now, it has that. Yeah! <laughs>